Okay, bye bye everybody. You're on your own. See ya. Oh, wait a minute. Close the door. Hey, hey. Mm. You gotta be quick about this. That's the thing. You gotta be very quick. You cannot close the door from out here. You can open it from outside, but you can't close it from outside. Okay. So, I still got my Roadrunner shoes on. There's another problem here. Ooh. 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 Yeah, just run right into the pole. Don't worry about it. Get drain damage. Okay, let's see. Uh, and I do believe this one's stuck. Yes? Yep. Here's the problem. This is another problem if you're doing this the way I started it on foot. Whoa. Okay, did I just... Uh, I hate this. I hate when this happens. Okay. Okay, so here we are. And regardless of which train you have here, the, la uh, the, the one train I was working with last night was a completely different one. Um, it doesn't matter which train you're in. This has no bearing. It was actually this one here, the 155. Look at it. Um, it was a 155 in control, uh, in, in the lead, the, the, the train pulling, the locomotive pulling the train. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, let's start that all over again. Yesterday, the 155 was not here. It was in place of the 185. It doesn't matter which train it is. Okay? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. I thought I forgot to start the record button. What's that? Oh, okay. Anyway, this is another player service. Okay, you can take over from here if you really want to. But here's a problem. Okay, so I'm going to give up the other one. Get started here. Now, that, yeah, the AI is driving without the wipers on. Sure. That's another thing that needs to get fixed, but it's not going to. Um, the reverser is in neutral. Okay, um, not sure why, but I'm going to leave it there. Um, the brake is in full service. But if you notice, in a track monitor, it's showing a red light. Meaning, you need to stop here. Not sure why, because there is no light. Ooh. There is no light here. What is here is a signal board for prepare to close, open, always get those backwards, prepare to open the MCB because there's a neutral section in the catenary. And uh, there's a reason for that. There's actually, there's several reasons for it. I made a video about it with, a, with the Vectron. It's, um, all the German trains, this is something new to TSW4, all the German routes have this that I've been finding so far. Okay, and if you go further up, and this is what's a little bit odd because of the way this is made. That sign, ooh, thunder. That sign is indicating to prepare to open the MCB. Okay, so we fly up ahead with the camera, and by now we should see a sign that's indicating a signal board here to open the MCB, okay? And then the next sign would be, once you get past the neutral section, or the neutral zone as I call it, 
and it's not with the Klingons and the, and the, and the Federation, okay? This is to close the MCB. So you can continue to receive power from the catenary and go on your merry way. Right now, these two signs are literally one train length apart. I do not think that the neutral section is between this sign and that sign. It could be. I don't know. Because there's no indication. Usually you see there's a break in the wire. Okay? There's no break in the wire. And uh, I'll have a link to that Vectron video that I, I go into kind of overkill um, description of the catenary and why and what the neutral section is for. And I'm not going to get into all of that here. But um, so I'm wondering what is going on here. Okay. Right now, this train, if you were without any mods and you move this train, you will spat out. Meaning, you'll end up with a either a black screen or you went through at a danger point with a red light. Okay? The only thing here that even indicates that could be a red light would be this. Okay? That's it. This is all that's here. Now, is that supposed to put uh, the replace? Is that supposed to be the replacement? For the red, is that the replacement for the red light? I don't know. Because usually when there's a red light, you have a light that's red, but there's a green. It's green on this track here, up ahead. So why is there a red over here? I don't know. Beats me. But anyway, so I'm wondering how do I get past this? Okay, the game was updated on the 6th to prepare it for the newest um, DLC that's coming out in less than a week. I believe it's called the Suffragates. They've changed the name of it again. I don't know why. I'm sure if you watch the road, the roadmap video, they'll probably, they probably explain why. Or Okay. So I don't know if this was like this a week ago two weeks ago um, I did a quick search on the internet and for those not in the UK and that don't know the area um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm biting my tongue here because this is a real thing and I will put an image of the the wiki page of this new DLC okay so the new the new DLC that's coming out in roughly a week is Gospel Oak to Barking Riverside so now they and they, re, they it was renamed London Overground Suffragate I believe it's S-U-F-F-R-A-G-E-T-T, -T, Suffragette. Well, I guess it would be Suffragette. Maybe it is Suffragate. I don't know. It's the oh, London Overground Suffragate line, Gospel Oak to Barking Riverside. I've seen some weird and odd names in, in my time. Uh, in many places around the world. Even some of the craziest ones in, in, in the United States. Okay, I'll go with it. Barking Riverside. Okay. So the game has been, they do this every, every actually, every game developer does this. They prep their games prior to a release of an update, patch, or new content that's being introduced. They prep the game with, a, with uh, whatever update they push through. Uh, in some instances, I don't know if it's still done this way. I know it used to be years, many, many years ago. The actual new content was pushed into the game, but um, you didn't know it, you didn't see it, unless you paid for it, and once you paid for it, it got unlocked. 
So you always had the new content, but you just never knew it and didn't see it because it, you needed that special key and going through Steam, which is a DRM, once you pay for it through Steam, you, through the magic of coding and and all and everything that goes behind the scenes, it unlocks that content. Now you have it and you can use it and have fun with it. So this is what was this is the update that went through on the sixth of this month, 2024, March. Now whether this was like this before that update, I don't know. But anyway, this is something that was mentioned on Steam and I wanted to see what is going on because there is another scenario that I just finished which has its own issues with um, the, uh, the medals that you get at, depending on how you score. And uh, I redid the scenario four times because I wanted to make sure that I was not you know, doing something wrong. I didn't overspeed not once, and I even used the safety systems, basically CIFA. I'm still learning PZB. And I still could not get platinum. So the scoring system is a little messed up with this, the last DLC that came through, Bansraki, Salzburg, Rosenheim. Um, and the one scenario looks like that you end up with a red light bug, like what is here. This is a red light bug, plain and simple. No matter how much you try, now, uh, now even the rail driver is not working. Okay, so let me hit the keyboard, tab, contact signaler, proceed as signals indicate. Well, the signal indicates red, no go. You cannot pass go, you do not collect $200. That's it. So there is a mod that you can use, and I'll have that listed. If you really do want to use it, you follow the instructions from the mod author, and you do it on your own. I'm not telling you to use it. I'm not suggesting you use it. It's really there for, for free roam, um, mainly for uh, just having a little bit of fun here and there in free roam and or you know doing tests and stuff it's not meant to be used on a regular basis because if you go through the red light when you're not supposed to and in, in the one scenario that i just did if you go through the red light you immediately almost immediately derail the train because the switch hasn't changed the junction needs to change and you have to wait for that light to change for and then the junction changes and you can go ahead but in many cases, like here, there is no junction to change to go either veer off to the left or the right. For whatever reason, there's a red light bug here. And the only way to get past it is to use that mod. And you shouldn't have to. Okay? Because if you go through the red light, you will not, 99% of the time, you will not end up where you need to be in the scenario. It will take you in a completely different direction. You'll go almost nowhere. You'll never get your, for the most part, you won't get your scenario completed. Because you cannot control the AI controlled junctions and switches. You'll, let me show you. I mean, okay. This is the, the, the service that I started with back at the station. There's another service that I did not take and neither one of them can go anywhere. Because of that one train that I'm, I'm in now, this um, empty car carrier, it's basically an open air auto rack, is what I call it, okay? Now, if I go back even further with my free, free flying super camera, I'm gonna hazard a guess that there's more trains. Yep, here we go. More trains stuck waiting to go, two more trains waiting for the block to clear so this is one block here they're waiting for that block to clear with these other two trains okay these two trains here are are occupying the block so it can't go because of this one train say well you got the train you got the tracks here on this side um 
No. Oh. Uh-uh. Not going anywhere. All trains coming through here, through this corridor, have to come through on this track here. That this train is occupying, which I am in now. I know I'm kind of going a little bit long-winded here because there's a there's just so much information here and many people, especially who are new to Train Sim World, that I've been noticing a lot of new people came on board to Train Sim World. And again, I don't know if this is gonna get fixed. It should get fixed. What's gonna happen, I don't know. But I have the mod installed. I checked it last night and I had to reinitialize the mod because every time the game updates, you have to reinitialize the mod. It's just the way it is. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna put this into forward. Um, make sure that my brakes are released. Headlights are normal. Okay. And my pantograph is up. The MCB is closed. So let's release the the train brake and the electric brake. And this is released. Okay, that's the AFB, so it's a rocker switch for this one on a, on a rail driver. So I'm putting on the, uh, the, in, the direct, indirect direct brake, parking brake, I'm putting that on to help, help hold the train. Um, because it is a long one and one locomotive pulling quite a few, even empties. They're not, pa they're not made of paper. So let's see what happens here. Do a little bit of throttle. Come on. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I'm pushing the wrong way because of the modded uh, rail driver. There we go. Release the parking brake. Now, hopefully, I don't spat out. There we go. It just turned green. Uh, let me pick up some speed here because I need to get through the neutral section because you have to open the MCB, get past a certain area as, as the signal boards indicate, and then close your MCB. And if you don't do it, it'll do it for you automatically. Let's see where that sign is. Okay. Open MCB. Okay, put the throttle to zero or off. Now, I'm not sure where this uh, neutral zone, neutral section ends. But let's see if I get my power back. Okay, let me make sure that this is... Line, line power on to start. Now, let's see, will I throttle up? Yes, okay, we're all set to go. I did a little bit more digging. Um, there is something going on here with the, uh, the Bahnstrecke Salzburg Rosenheim, a uh, particular scenario, timetable scenario that um, that actually is ending up getting stuck, uh, as I had shown earlier. And it's scenario David George Sam 44990. So it's a service that goes from Salzburg to Ingolstadt Hafbahnhof. And it's a one hour and 13 minute scenario. My lucky number. And it just so happens that the Latin medal is 13,400. So, okay, here we are um, with the uh, scenario with the BR 185.2 DB. And um, it's... Um, Quite a long one for a single uh, um, locomotive, 43 cars. That includes the one locomotive. 
and um, which is, this is something I still have a hard time understanding because it's showing that I'm leaving from Salzburg Hauptbahnhof to Rosenheim, but yet it's showing that I'm going from Salzburg to Ingolstadt Hauptbahnhof. Uh, so it's saying here, wait a moment. I'm not sure why. Let's make sure these brakes back here are um, released. The uh, driver's brake valve cut in. We'll set the headlights. Uh, braking system is set to P. Yes. I guess we're waiting for the service to start at 0952. Uh, so we we'll just sit here and wait. Yep, that's what it is. Going to U Ubese, platform four. So um, we stop at uh, Urbese and our ultimate destination is Ro Rosenheim. So this is where the service starts, over here. Now there is a, uh, a brief stop over here, as you can see from the track monitor up here on the top right. Ziva. I actually kind of like that uh, that warning for CIFA better rather than that it's the high pitched tone. Okay, we're set to go. Oh, it's a different oh, it's a different red. Okay, it almost looked like it was on the same pole. Okay, so we got a yellow and green. So we could get another red signal. I believe that's what that's indicating. I'm trying to learn as quickly as I can here. Yeah, yeah, Sifa is a Bramson. So if you don't activate, uh, uh, acknowledge the Sifa with the alerter fast enough, it'll start to uh, apply the brake. If that happens, just bring your throttle back down to zero, off. Acknowledge the CIFA and continue to accelerate. And then I'll go back and I'll start on foot and see what happens and try it again. But it looks like um, there is a problem, but I want to, before I, uh, I want to make sure that I'm not going off the rails unintentionally. And there's the catenary uh, boards, signal boards that uh, I will have to uh, open the MCV before this next sign. So MCV is open. That last sign is uh, indicating to close the MCV, put the throttle to zero, close the MCV, and I can continue to accelerate. Okay, so if you start the service as normal, uh, from where you, you know, where I showed, um, everything works as it should. Okay, here I am at uh, Salzburg Hauptbahnhof station. Everything is uh, loading up as it did uh, earlier, as I showed earlier. Let me put on my uh, Ely Gonzalez shoes. Okay, this is a completely different um, freight train here. Also with the 185. I'm going up to see if this uh, same service is stuck at the red light up here. And it looks like it is.
Okay, and this time it's the 155. The BR-155 locomotive. Okay, let's see what the deal is here. Oh, I gotta open the door first. Same thing. Eh, yeah, looks like it. Brake key is off. Um, the brakes are all off. Um, throttle, tap changers off to zero. Reversers in neutral. And I'm um, not sure how you're driving a train that way, but okay, dude. Okay, that does go to the other cab. So let's take over here. It's the same service, David George Sam, 44990, Salzburg to Ingolstadt, Hauptbahnhof, starting at 0950 hours. Same amount of cars, 43, with the one locomotive. And starting from Salzburg, Hauptbahnhof to Rosenheim, with the BR155 DB at this time. So let's get started. And here we are. Let me put the uh, the driver's brake key to on. Brakes are released. Direct brake is on full. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. How, how and why did that move, period? Okay. That shouldn't have happened. I didn't even touch the throttle. And, uh... Proceed as signals indicate. Okay, different train. Same thing. Um, signal indicates red. Do not go. Again. This is the, uh, prepare to open MCB. That's to, uh, stop for shunting service. Our headlights are on. That's good. And, um, all the way up ahead there with our super zoom, we could see green lights for this track. Uh, those are the magnets for PZB and, uh, signal boards for the catenary, MCB, shut off, turn on, all of that good stuff. I don't see what would hold this train here. But here we are. Different train, same problem. So if you start this scenario, or if you start on foot with this, uh, the recent uh, DLC, as I had said earlier, um, And you come here and take over this train on foot. This is what you end up with. So, uh, I would expect that, you know, there might be some kind of shunting service coming through. Uh, from what looks like a, um, a loading, unloading area where, um, containers come come through but I'm not seeing anything like that um, it's just sitting here stuck at a red light kind of like killing a little bit of time here to see if anything changes I don't expect it to um, so nothing's changing still a red light that's Sifa It's not even giving me an option to activate it. Yeah. That doesn't even move when I press the, uh, the button for see for on or off. Let's see. If I don't spat out, that means, there you go, it turns green. So, again, 
that's because of the mod that I have installed. I reactivated, uh, reinitialized the mod. Um, and that's the only way to get this service to continue on when it's stuck here on foot. There's no other way to do it. Let's wait for that to drop down to zero. Okay. Count to one me pee pee pee, two me pee pee pee, three me pee pee pee. Okay, does that mean I have to... There we go, transformer had to get turned back on also. So when you cl open the MCB, that also closes, uh, turns off the transformer. And you have to turn that back on. So, there we go. We're humming along here. So, if you start this on foot and take over from the AI, the only way to get through is to use a mod um, that, again, is linked down below uh, in the description. And again, you use the mod at your own discretion. I'm not telling you to use it. I'm not telling you have to use it, but if you want to do this particular service, uh, David George Sam 44990, and you pick it up on foot from the AI, from Salzburg Hauptbahnhof Station, uh, then there's no, I don't see uh, another way unless they uh, fix this um, red light bug and any other service you take out of that station won't move anywhere because this particular train is uh, blocking basically the only access out of that station from what I can tell. But there you go. Okay, we're done. <clears throat> now you can go on your merry way. Now, here's the, here's the question that I don't know. That means I'm going to have to do this scenario, which I don't mind doing. I'm not going to do it now. But will I end up where the scenario is meant to take me? That's the question. Because um, I'm going through a red light, essentially, which is wrong. It's not the way it should be done. Now, whatever happened, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if this was like this before the update. And if it was, then it needs to get fixed. Because this is part of the newest DLC. Okay? I don't know how this was released like this. This is starting to give me vibes of when the MML EMT train was released back in 2020. With Tia... With TSW3 and um, in 2023. Okay. <clears throat> I apologize. Um, I'm not going to get into my personal life. <clears throat> anyway, it's given me very. It, it, it's, a, I'm, I'm, it's like I'm getting a lot of apprehension here because. When I fired up that MML EMT, and the first thing I did was do the, the training center, I bit my tongue so hard so many times I tasted blood because I couldn't believe it was released the way it was. Now, a lot of it was fixed. There were a lot of patches put out by Skyhook. I'm not going to get into all of that now, but those are the vibes I'm getting here. Okay? This is wrong. This is not the way you do a route. Yes, I do have the mod. That's for me to do tests, to see what's going on, go into free roam when I want to, and just basically mess around, okay? But it's, it's not meant for you to go running around with a train and crashing them um, like another game, which I will not mention here, okay? I'm not here to derail trains and crash them and... and create carnage. That's not why I have the mod. But it's there for those that want to use it. And again, you use it at your own peril because you will, you could just basically ruin your game. 
and you're gonna have to start all over again. Not that the game will be broken, you'll never be able to use it again, but you're gonna have to, you're not gonna get where you wanna go and you gotta, oh, let me start all over again. I mean, starting back. And you have to be careful how you do save game because you save in a wrong place. You're gonna end up with the same problem. But anyway, I've done enough yapping here. This is how you get past this area here. If you do this on foot from the station um, Salzburg uh, Bahnhof uh, in uh, Rosenheim Bahnstrecke DLC. I know I said it backwards, but at this point, I really don't care. Okay, plain and simple. I didn't want to do the A or B because it's different. But anyway, that's that. Um, if you've come this far and you've li and you've listened to me ramble on. Uh, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Um, leave your thoughts, your comments. I welcome constructive criticism. Subscribe, share, smash that thumbs up, likes button if you felt that I've given you something useful, informative, and helpful. And I hope I did. And um, I'm not trying to be funny, but I'll just leave it at I have too much time. I just have too much invested in this. And I bought this DLC with the hope of it being a little bit better and having some fun with it. Because I knew there were going to be problems. But it's the same thing over and over and over and over again. It just doesn't change. And it's starting to really irritate the heck out of me. And I'm just going to say thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Y'all come back here. Bye-bye for now.